So we've uh, come to Chamonix in um, the Alps and um, we're here uh, just for a couple of days. The idea was to come um, have a couple of days doing some landscape photography. Um, there's just some stunning photographic opportunities here. It's a little bit cloudier than, than we'd hoped but um, one thing you can't control is the forecast um, but um, clouds are great for, for mountain shots. You can just get the odd break in the clouds where the sun can peek through. Um, I'm hopeful that we can get some really good shots in this trip. Um, I'm not overly optimistic that I'm going to see any wildlife. Um, I have looked up what wildlife there is here and I'm looking forward to seeing marmots. Marmots. Um, hopefully pine martens. Ibex. I can't remember exactly what they're called but they're sort of ibex. Birds of prey as well. Um, I'm not really anticipating that I'll get to see anything or plan any shots because it is just a flying visit. And with my wildlife photography, I'm much rather like scouting out an area beforehand, knowing where the wildlife is going to be and positioning myself there on another day. And I know or can guess that I stand a chance of seeing something. So I'm going to try my hands at landscapes. If Sam will give me any kind of <laughs> leeway to use the camera, bless his little heart. I'll get you using filters, solid NDs, we'll get some long exposures. Ten stop yeah. maybe might come out. Yeah. Um, so we've just arrived in Chamonix and um, stayed the night last night in Geneva and we're looking to take the cable car up to the top of Aguil de Midi and um, then cable car down halfway or some, some of the way down and then do a walk to be at somewhere scenic for sunset. So the plan for today was to head up um, first of all for the um, Aguil du Midi, it's for a, a peak where you can get a great view of some of the peaks around here. Um, it'll be the middle of the day when we go up there, it is rather cloudy so we'll see whether there's any gaps in the cloud. We'll probably be talking black and white shots, long exposures. Um, we're then going to take a hike um, forever along to a point called Mer de Glace. Um, so it's a, a beautiful glacier um, and the idea is hopefully we'll be there before sunset and we'll be able to get an evening picture from there. If there is a sunset this evening, hopefully we'll get some great colours in the cloud, um, get some really good colours, um, really good definition in the sky, really nice shot of the glacier. This is what um, we're hoping. There is quite is a lot hoping, of cloud, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. And then tomorrow we're going, to, we're going to take a hike up to a place called Lac de Blanc. It's a stunning location. If you look it up online, if you just type it into Google Images or Flickr or 500px, it's just a stunning location. Um, it has this amazing panorama of the Mont Blanc Massif. So um, that's the plan for tomorrow. Um, so, yep, we're looking forward to the trip and hopefully we'll get some great shots. Hopefully. Okay, so we are at the top of the Aguil de Midi. Um, as you can see, the clouds have come down. It's really... Visibility is not great. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, to be honest, we're sort of reconsidering whether or not we're going to be able to walk over to the Mountain Bears uh, train station. A, um, yeah, the visibility just looks, looks awful, so it might be too dangerous to, to attempt that today. Um, so what we've done is we've set up here on the top... Um, Every now and again we get a break in the clouds, so we're just here, we're just waiting for breaks in the clouds um, so we can get the peaks of some of the, the surrounding mountains up top here. Um, I've got the camera set up, um, it's on F13, I've got a 10 stop there, so the idea is, because um, I've got these clouds blowing over the peaks, what I really want to do is just use a long exposure to try and get um, uh, a really sort of suggestion of movement in those clouds. Um, so we're going for a long exposure shot, 10 stop filter. We've also got a polarizer on there in addition to the 10 stop. Um, so we're currently at f13. With the 10 stop um, we're looking at around a six second exposure in this light. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's just now a case of waiting for gaps in the cloud. Um, hopefully there'll be some more and every time we get a gap in the cloud we'll, we'll take a snap and um, yeah, we'll see how we get up.
we made it up to the top of um, a grilled midi. Um, I'm feeling a bit feeling a bit disappointed to be honest. So um, the plan was to go to the top of a grilled midi, which is the peak next to uh, Mont Blanc. Take some photos up there, then take the cable car back down again about halfway, then walk. Um, there's this really nice walk I've been really looking forward to doing for weeks, um, which takes you over to um, a site called Montenvers, where you have an amazing view of the uh, Murder Glass Glacier. So the plan was to do that hike, hike along there, um, and get there in time for sunset. Um, as with all plans, when you book these trips weeks in advance, you don't have control over the weather. So we did suspect, um, as of a few days ago when we checked the weather forecast, that the weather wouldn't be great. And needless to say, the cloud cover at the point where we wanted to do our walk was just thick. And so it would have been dangerous, I think, for us to have done the walk just because um, we didn't want to start and then lose our way. Um, it's supposed to be fairly well marked, fairly well signposted, but we didn't. We just didn't want to risk it, um, especially given that we would then get to murder glass and quite likely not have any good light, not have any um, anything to take a photo of. Cloud cover would have been low there. So we've come back to the hotel. And actually, I've just set up here, so there are a couple of... Um, shots just here even from the from the balcony there's enough there's the odd break in the cloud which is really frustrating because you know, if only the cloud cover wasn't so high along that bit where we want to walk and it is just thick it was thick when we went up it was thick when we came down um, but there's the odd little break which just reveals the occasional nice shot so i'm just set up here on the balcony we've got we've got a 300 mil lens on um, let's show you what we've got set up here. So, um, my usual settings of um, f13. I might drop that down actually because I'm doing a telephoto shot. I can afford to um, drop that down a little bit. I don't need that depth of field. Um, I'm zoomed into about 135 mils. And there's actually some really nice little shots here that we can pick out with a long lens. Um, Foreground interest around here, obviously, I have to cut that out. It's, it's as you can see, it's it's town. ISO 100, um, about 135 mil, and yeah, I'll take the shot and see how it goes. come up to this point here and I've just had really had to force myself to get here I was so fed up after not getting the shots that I wanted to get today and it just not working out with getting to murder glass and I was feeling so miserable about it and I forced myself to get out of the hotel and just scramble up here um, I haven't even come that far I just came up this track and I wasn't sure whether I was going to find anything you know I was just feeling like I, oh, I, I was just so frustrating and I came up here and I just found this spot where you know the light was great and the clouds just lifted off the top of the mountains it was amazing um, we saw these peaks come out and it's just enabled me to get I, I scrambled up this slope it's like the worst slope ever and it's just oh it's just magic the, the clouds lifted and we've got some great shots so I've done some stitched panoramics um, I've got a polarizer on, and now that the light's dropped, the light has gone now. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back now in a minute, but now the light has dropped. We've got these really long exposures going on, so that'll be interesting to see how they turn out too. So yeah, it's, it's a lesson, you know. If it's just force yourself to get out when when it's the the magic hour. Even if you don't feel like it, if if you're concerned, you know, if you've come somewhere like this, if you're in a good location, just just get out, and you never know. You know, you might not get anything. It might just all, you might go home with no photos and, that, and that's okay, you just have to be prepared for that. But on the other hand, the magic might just happen and I think I've got some really great shots from this. So yeah, I think it's been worthwhile. So um, I'm gonna head back to the hotel now. It's time for alcohol. It's definitely time to go and have a sit down. So um, yeah, we'll see how we get on tomorrow.